what is going on? Everybody, this is Striker, welcoming you to episode number six of Sky Element, guys. So, in between last episode and this episode, so cool over there. Anyways, I uh, basically just built a bridge over here. That, that was it. So, one of our quests, I know, is that we have to mine 64 pieces of coal. Now, this is probably going to be the most exciting thing you will see in your entire life life guys because there's actually probably something in the middle of this thing so what i'm gonna do is i am going to uh just take take a little bit of a break here give you guys the good old couple minute cut jump cut kind of deal and i will be back guys so i will check you back when i have mined just about this whole island of coal guys so hold on all right and i'm back guys so i mined up a couple layers up here i mined down into the middle didn't find anything uh, as you can see in the chest here, I have plenty of coal now, which is great. And then I also made a pathway over to this other... Did that, I think that snow just melted because of the torch. Anyways, a pathway over here and did some very, very minor exploring and already found a bunch of stuff that's going on over here. So please join me as we take on this area. So I ended up just building up into the middle here, just cutting like a little, little pathway through. And I saw a chest over here. And I decided that I wasn't going to do anything about that chest. I didn't even see this going up. I wasn't going to do anything about that chest until I had you guys there. I hear blazes. Until I had you guys there to uh, you know, experience the chest with me. I went this way. There was nothing this way. But I went this way. There's a bunch of bad guys and spawners. So there's probably something cool down there as well. So let's go ahead and check this out. Orange bowl. Yes. For the monument. Yes. Another block. That's probably going to be our way upwards. So all of this hollowed out basically okay so i want to did you see those creepers jumping those creepers are getting a little high for me so oh, i can use them to blow up all of his friends no up i think these skeletons are actually shooting them making them become aggroed that was smart place the torch down and then break the block that it was on ow yeah, I turned off mob briefing, so they can blow up. Yes, there we go. I was gonna say, I'd actually prefer it at this point in time. Oh, there's a chest down here. Cool veins. Just place some lighting down here. Just try to get this place as well lit up as possible before I even attempt to come down here. How you doing, buddy? I think I actually quelled, if not all, most of the spawning. So we should be all right. Excuse me, buddy. Just gonna place a torch down here. How you doing? Awesome. Look at all that XP. We'll go ahead and destroy all these spawners. Did I just hear a skeleton shoot at me? Sir? I don't know where you're at. Alright, whatever. So let's go ahead and do that. Bam, bam, bam. Bam. And this is the Time Lord's Sword. More emeralds. More diamonds. And Sharpness 5, Smite 3, Fire Aspect 2, Knockback 1. What does this have? Sharpness, fire aspects. This has got the fire aspect. It's got the sharpness. It's got better sharpness. All right. So our axe has now been demoted as our primary melee weapon. So now I have all this random sandstone that I can use as blocks. And now I want to go back out this way to see if it's daytime or not, because it's going to change the plan of attack. So I think it's becoming daytime, but I can't tell because I'm stuck in the rain and it hides the sun and moon. So let's go over this way. I wish I had a clock on me. That, that's actually probably something really smart to build. Look, snow. Nice. Does it look? Does it look gross outside? We're also going to probably head out over there to that island very soon. And uh, this island very soon. Just because they're in the same general region as this stuff. So I'm, end up, I'm probably going to... Let me just clear my inventory first. We're probably just going to end up having a bunch of halfway chests. And then I will have to, in between a couple of episodes, run back... Oh, I need those arrows. Run back and, like put stuff in the chest and then come back and everything like that. So, got that. I'm going to take a stack of... Actually, let's let's be smart about this. I'm going to make these into some slabs. Just in case, just so I have plenty of building blocks, plenty of building materials. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and, and go up that staircase that ended with a blaze spawning, because that's, that's first off, very sketchy. And the second off, very sketchy. So I don't really want to encounter a bunch of blaze, but I believe if it's Oh, it's raining outside. It doesn't matter. They'll, they'll die. They get hurt by water. I was going to say, I believe if it's daytime, they won't spawn, but I don't think it's going to matter a whole lot. 
Oh. Well, that's nice. Solid! I like it. So, they're actually probably just spawning in this area, yeah, where you can't see anything. The Blaze are probably one of the weirdest mobs. It's something exploded up top. As they actually do have, like, a standard melee. And they have another attack. Ouch! Alright, we're gonna- we're just gonna back up real quick. And, uh, we're gonna eat. I don't have a whole lot of food, that's another issue. So we're gonna have to make a run back home very soon. I mean, I do have the apples, which will help with food. But I don't want to rely on golden apples as my food source. Let's go ahead and break this. We're good. Nothing crazy's going on. At least not too bad. Hello, buddy. I broke that torch. Alright, so my sword basically one-shots everything. Get out of here. Aha! That's where the other spawner's at. I was gonna say, I thought I heard another one. Get out of here. Alright, so let's go ahead and douse these spawners as well. And then we can check out the rest of the area over here. Okay, we need to knock out that block. Is that a vine? Okay, it looked like it might have been a creeper foot. We got some sandstone, some sand, some uh, cacti, and we've got some sandstone stairs and some birch fence. So we might actually end up using some of that junk, but I couldn't really tell you. This beacon. I'll take, I'll take the beacon though. I know it says you need to craft a beacon, so I'm not going to use this as being part of like the, uh, whatever it's called, the quest. That's what it is. I'm not going to use that as part of the quest. I'm not going to be like, oh, look, I have a beacon, so it counts. No. We will craft a beacon. We will. We just have to get the, the materials for it. Uh, but for right now, we might as well take it. I mean, it's not going to hurt to put on speed or regeneration or something. Actually, we could put regen on right now. That'd be nice. Let's go ahead and dig out here. It looks like this was probably the uh, intended entrance. Just kind of scoping things out. So I believe the light level's in rain make it dark enough that mobs can spawn. Ow. We need to be really careful because we are you know, in a sky island. So if we get shot, we could fly off. Did I see a skelly over here? I thought I might have, but I didn't. Okay. We're good. I don't, I don't think I need any of these. Oh, I need water though. I will take that. Give me that. Boom. Lovely. Thank you so much. So I think that was that. Yeah. That was that. I don't need any acacia wood or anything like that, so we're fine. That's not a big deal. And uh, let's go ahead and... I was going to say we'll put it in the chest, but we can't. Let's just dump the junk that we don't need. The stuff that's just going to clutter our inventory. I guess that's probably all we can throw. We can throw that for now as well. Okay. So, now we have another couple islands that we're going to need to conquer. Now, I believe that that's, that's it over here. We've got, you know, we got the wool. We got the, the sword over there, the artifact. So we got the wool and the artifact. And I don't think there's anything left on this island. So we should be alright. Just trying not to fall off. And there are mobs that like can spawn underneath, like down there. That's why you kept hearing mob noises. But I don't think there's anything over there. If there is, it's probably just another artifact, and we can live without, you know, one of the artifacts. It's not a big deal. So let's go ahead and clear our inventory a wee bit here. Uh, by a wee bit, I mean like we can't really do that. Let's go ahead and make a, another chest over here then. So yeah, I'm going to have to, in between episodes, I'm going to have to definitely truck over some stuff uh, back and forth between home. So we'll drop the 17 torches off, keep a full stack on us, and then we can drop off all of this stuff that we just picked up. And actually, we can just get that out of my inventory for now. Don't need that. We'll keep the sticks in case we need to make anything else in the future. And I think that's it. We don't need that. Yes, we do need food. Really bad, though. That's, that's all I got. That's all I can do. Okay. So let's go ahead over to this birch area. We'll just build straight off of here. Plop the torch. And like I said, guys, I'm going to try to do as many of these bridges off camera. So like pre-setting pre -setting up the episode, but I didn't I didn't know what the plan was going to be for today. So we're just uh, we're rolling out here, you know? So hopefully it's all right. Hopefully you guys like seeing me dangle above, you know, death because, you know, I can die. So that's always awesome. And we should be getting pretty close. Yeah, I see the island right there in the top left area. Or top right, rather. I definitely know my directions. Don't don't, don't laugh at me, guys. Please. Please. I'm sensitive. <laughs> Please. And then this should be the last of our jungle wood, which is pretty interesting. Because I had mined a lot of it. 
and I see there's a spawner up top, so I gotta be very careful about what is up there. Because if those are creepers, they might be in for some trouble. Nice. World's sketchiest bridge ever. But it's enough to get me over here. Uh, creeper. Okay, bye. And creeper. Okay, bye. That should be it, right? Should be. Am I clear? Yeah, I'm clear. Alright, so there's just uh, four trees. Just gonna make sure that there wasn't another spawn or anything like that up top on these other trees. Nothing like hidden in the leaves. No, I think we're okay. Yeah, we're good. Alright, um, pumpkin. We'll take the pumpkin in case. And, okay, so we got some lapis. That's big because we haven't done enchanting yet and we now have some levels for that. So we can do that. I think one pumpkin's fine. If I need more, I can just farm them real fast with some bone meal or whatever. And uh, let's go ahead and just use this birch log to build right back up. So I don't need the wood, as you saw from another one of those chests that we got recently, that I got tons of wood. So we're clear on wood. Alright, now we're back on the straightaway. I can run and jump this one. I'm just always super cautious. I don't want to fall to my death. Alright, so I think that's probably where we should go now as well. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll just build off of this bridge here. Right? It's about halfway in that island. I think I think that'll work. Um, food. Ah, oh, joke. We need food. Well, I guess we can eat a golden apple for now. So that'll keep our saturation pretty high for quite some time. It's kind of a waste, but it's all right. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Torch. Now nothing can spawn. Lovely guys, so this bridge shouldn't take all that long either. I do think this is a very interesting transition of the biomes here though. Snow, rain, like if you go over 10 feet, there you go, it's rain right there, snow right here, like that's interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, moving on though. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. It's just an issue when it gets like this weather-wise because I don't know like if the spawners are going to be active because we will see once I get over here that they start to become active and if creepers start spawning it's not the end of the world for sure I've got the tools required to break them and everything like that but I don't want to die in the meantime so yes it is nighttime now officially can we kill these guys with one shot we cannot ah! Rambo Boom, we got him. Yes, we're good. All right, we are good. I didn't mean to fall down into here, but that's all right. I think we'll be okay. I heard you. Where are you at, buddy? Oh, you're right there on the edge. I knocked you off the top, and I thought you went all the way down, but it's all right. Nothing? Nothing down here? All right. Just go ahead and light up the area very nicely. We got some iron ingots, some gold ingots, and some bone meal. Yeah, these little islands typically just have just some small materials. You don't really ever have to worry about them having like monumental things. Like I doubt there's gonna be a wool over here, but if we do miss a wool at one point in time, I will probably go around to every island ever and find it. Just because I'm that kind of person, I'm, I'm that kind of 100% completion type deal. So let's go ahead and build out of here. Ooh, my absorption just went away. All right, and then we can use these trees, I suppose, to get back up. Is that a cave sound? It almost sounded like a blaze. I was like, uh-oh. All right, and then we can just build this bridge back over this way, and we're back. Okay, so, what's our next plan of attack? Where are we headed? What, what island do we need to go visit? You know? So there's plenty of them out here, but I don't want to do anything too crazy. Like that big netherrack thing over there in the distance? That looks scary, and if you guys didn't see it, it's right there. That looks very scary, and I don't know if I'm ready for that. Um, uh, uh. I really don't know what to do. I have so much good stuff, but I need, we need to get home. So, let's, let's grab all the stuff that we definitely need to take home. We need this wood. Torches, coal, and stuff I can leave for now. If there's any those artifacts in here, I could use that beacon, all of these. Um, I don't need that one sapling. I don't need five redstone. Iron we can take, and I think that's about all we can haul over. I can at least complete my torch stack. And yeah, that's that's going to be it. I will end up taking back all of that stuff. I'll just have to get back over here. 
Let's see if we can build a better way up to Tarzan. Because I feel like that's going to be what's going to hold us back, is the fact that we can't get up here super easy. So if we, if we find a way to make it so it's super easy to get up and over here, then I think we'll be alright. We need to actually go that way, not this way. We just need to go straight across. And I would place torches, but you can't on top of leaf blocks. Which is why there's no mobs up here, which is great. But, in the same sense, you are being hindered by the fact that you can't place blocks. Let's go ahead and build us a little sketchy way up here. Boom. Boom. And we'll just plop a torch to keep the mobs off of those blocks there. And then that's over to the pirate ship. And then... Maybe I could drop off of the pirate ship? So I can get over here kind of easily? Should have put a torch down on these. Oh, those are half slabs. Can't do it. There you go. You can spawn on that one, though. Um, what if we do, you know, some, some like this? And then we can get our way up here. This was kind of sketchy, this little platform that I made. I guess I'll just have to build up to get over there. And yeah, there's just a bunch of random crap. So I will end up getting all of that stuff over as well. What if we just, like, waterfall down over to the other island? You know what I mean? Yeah, if we go off the pirate ship, we should be able to water down to the other island. And then we can just climb right up to it whenever we want. Let's are there guys really spawning in here? There are. I thought I lit up everything well enough. So let's go ahead and... Oh, I just saw he dropped a chest piece. I can't even pick up. Because my inventory is too full. Nice. Is there anything else that I left in there? Yeah, some excess junk. But we'll, we'll light up this area here, and then we'll also cover it up. Just so we don't get anything up here. And then I guess this can be like a secondary base, almost. With operations. So we can do that. And I did see a couple of holes over there, so I will patch those up as well. So we are finally headed back home. It's been a while. So we'll see what we can do next episode. Maybe we can just do a nice chill episode at home for a little bit. Does this... Uh, let's do it right... Right here. Yeah, because if we go to the right anymore, that's where the bridge is for the other Link Up Island. So we'll do that, and then we can just get up right on here and go straight across or over or whatever we need to do. There's floating coal over there. I should probably go take a look at that, but we can't we can't afford the inventory space right now. So we got to get over. We got to we got to get home and do some inventory organizing first, and then then we can go out on more adventures, guys. So it'll probably just take about 10 minutes for me to get everything back over. So there we go, back to the shopping district. And all my villagers are still here. They didn't despawn. Yay! Alright, and now we're back. We've got... Let's, let's do the monument stuff here first. Alright, so we've got the orange wool. Is this it? Yeah, orange wool. Boom. And then we can stick the excess in here. And then we've got lime wool, which goes here. Boom. Getting it. We're working it, guys. We're working it. Alright. And then I think that's everything. Let's go ahead back home. We can finally sleep off at night. So that's awesome. We can finally sleep. And then we can worry about this food situation and organizing everything. So instead of putting you guys through all of that, through the organization process and food process, and there's an Enderman that just spawned. There are two Endermen that spawned over here. That is ridiculous. I swear. Oh, I took off mob griefing. I was going to say, I swear if he picks up a dirt block, I'm going to be so upset, guys. But anyways, I think I'm just going to end the episode. And just to keep myself from looking at an enderman by accident, because I don't think you can look at him through the glass. You cannot just sign off from the house, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, everybody, and I will see you all next time.